Blog Talk Radio. Hello, everyone. Hello, world. How's everyone doing out there? Thank you so much for joining us on Get Inspired with Joyce. I'm your host, Joyce Sajanoko. I want to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in advance. It's been a while, and I really do want to apologize to everyone out there that you haven't heard from me in a while. Um, I really want to say I appreciate all our listeners, our followers on Facebook, and on our website. Your comments are very encouraging and much appreciated. Thank you so much for listening all year round. And I just want to say God will bless you guys richly. Uh, remember, Christ is the reason for the season, and let's always thank him for coming into this sinful world. Even though it was perfect, he died for us. Let's thank him for his faithfulness. Um, so today, I want to talk about giving thanks to God for all he has done for us this year, 2015. You may not be where you want to be, but I believe I am speaking for myself as well. I believe that you're not where you were. So there there's a different and there's a difference there and I'm sure God has given you a lot of things to be thankful for. And just reflecting on those things is one of the key things that I, I kinda wanna talk about a little bit tonight. You probably waited on God for certain things this year. I know I have and some of them you've received some of them you may not have received, and maybe not not at all. Maybe you didn't even receive anything that you had requested this year or maybe on your prayer list. I believe God may still be at work in your life. Remember, he's never late. He's always on time. I know knowing he has the best for you. He has the best in store for you, for you and your family. Now, you may think you, you don't have much to give thanks for because you have not received all you have requested. Well, being alive alone is a good place to start. He has brought you through the 12 months of this year, 2015, and you're still here. That means mm, it's all for you. You're predestined with God's divine assignment. It's not over until God sees so. Your life is definitely a living testimony. I know mine is. The fact that Jesus laid down his life means you are worth dying for, and you should be thankful that the Lord has a need for the unfaithful you, unfaithful me. I won't pretend, but I have to say, we are not faithful. The Bible says that our righteousness is like a filthy rag before him. It's enough that the Bible describes our righteousness as filthy, but he also referred to it as a rag. So we are not in no way, no way whatsoever faithful or righteous but he is just a faithful, a merciful God. A lot of times we we do things that won't count us worthy before God. Even after Christ died for us, with all of that, yet his love can never be quantified. What is man that God is mindful of in Psalm chapter 8, verse 4? Why does he constantly care for me, for you? Can anyone really define his undying love? The Lord saved us from so many dangers this year. I can attest to that. Some of them you are not aware of. Some of them you know without a doubt that that has to be God. That was God. And you arrived safely at your destination. Some people have traveled on that same road repeatedly. But one unlawful day, they never made it back. You need to be thankful, folks. Some of you were pregnant for nine months, delivered a healthy child this year with no glitch, no complications. We need to be thankful. Some were involved in terrible car accidents this year and we made it out alive. You need to be thankful. Some were involved in unpleasant God crossfire and the Lord created a way of escape for you. You need to be thankful. Some were saved from business major disaster, but the Lord brought you out. Some were seriously ill this year, and you survived. The Lord healed you wholly. You should be thankful. I realize we don't thank him enough, 
We take everything sometimes as a right, an entitlement. But if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, from chapter 124, verses 1 to 4, the devil will have dealt with us seriously. You may have gone through a lot this year, and I probably don't know your story, but think about it this way. It could have been worse. There is still a reason or reasons to thank God. Thank God for your portion. The portion God has graciously awarded to you and your family. The storm may have hit you violently this year, but you were never moved. Going into the year, into the new year, that is, and during this Christmas season, choose to give things besides seeking and asking. He is more than able to provide for you. Have you really thanked him for all he, he did before asking for more? Remember, most of the things that we ask for, we don't even deserve anyway. But he still grants them. What an awesome God we serve. What a great God we serve. I look forward to a greater 2016 by God's grace as the Lord leads us in his direction on the show with the more inspiring, encouraging, God-filled, and Christ-centered shows. Until next time, keep dreaming, stay focused, and remember everyone was born with unique and specific gifts and talents. The world is waiting for you to unleash them for his glory. Always put God first. I'm your host, Joyce Janaku. Have a great day. Shalom.